So before this video gets started, if you're an Instacart shopper that got deactivated, if you were deactivated by Instacart, there is a new company that is helping gig workers get reactivated to Uber, Lyft, and other gig companies. So if you're deactivated from Uber, Lyft, Instacart, and you want to try to get reactivated, there's this new company that will have a lawyer write a letter for you. They will send it from their law firm to try to get your account reactivated. It's not a guarantee, but you can at least try it out. The company is called Cover, and it you can get up to 31 days of coverage. You get income guarantee, protection, benefits, and again, they can try to get your account reactivated. So if you use my link down below, you'll get your first 30 days for free to try to get reactivated or if you want some of those other benefits again use my link down below to get your first 30 days for free all right now let's get on to the video hey everyone how's it going welcome back to the rideshare hub my name is dylan thank you so much for coming by uh the rideshare hub is a place for uber and lyft drivers as well as instacart shoppers how to make more money and what is a better way to learn how to make more money is to learn how to not get deactivated so we're going through a bunch of different stories on how instacart shoppers essentially have been deactivated because there's a lot a lot 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 i'm okay there's a lot of instacart shoppers being deactivated and um, it's crazy. Instacart, Instacart is like kind of. I want to talk. I don't want to talk too much shite, shite about the company, but like. <laughs> wow, that's really weird. I was just talking in an accent, and somebody just commented that. Um, never mind. Somebody just texted me about this show. Um, Love Island, Australia. But anyways, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, Instacart customer service support is really bad right now. They've always been bad. <laughs> they just don't have enough people. They don't hire enough people. And in return, a lot of orders get handled mis misproperly. A lot of shoppers get deactivated for a false, not even a false report, but like basically what happens is that there's a lot of customers who like for whatever reason place orders and they don't get their food and so they'll complain to instacart that the shopper stole the food but it was like and then at the same time the shopper was like i never even got the order so they it's just they end up deactivating the driver and then the, the customer doesn't even get a refund it's like you want let's go let, let's just let's just hop right into this okay let's spill some tea i just want to show you guys this is alarming you go to Instacart's um, Instagram. Take a look at this, guys. I guarantee you that these um, these comments are just roasting Instacart. About oh, did they delete their comment section? Oh, maybe they haven't got any comments. Oh, well, they only have five comments. Your company needs to stop hiring shoppers to be loyal to workers who have been through the long haul. Why can't I receive any orders when I have five stars? Good, but what about the shopper app? It's a mess again in South Florida. You need to shine a light on all your employees and what are you doing for veterans? Fix your shopper app, who asked? These aren't even bad. If you go to a one with like a lot of comments, honestly, that might even be deleting comments. Okay, let's go to this one, 186 comments. Can you tip more than $6 in Instacart? Uh, hi, I've been trying to get in touch with Instacart because I was supposed to receive a credit on my next order. I just placed the order this morning and there isn't a credit. Can you please help me? My wife just got blocked today in an Add an unbelievable, she'd been doing hard work and get blocked today for leaving delivery by the front desk, but the customer made a complaint that she did not receive it. Pathetic. There's a common one too. People getting deactivated um, for like stuff like that. Like somebody probably took the food and then they just deactivate the driver, like nothing, the shopper. I got fired because someone said their food wasn't delivered. After they transitioned to contactless delivery, this started happening like, no Karen, what am I going to do with your six tubs of mayonnaise in my trunk all day? I never thought it would feel so useful. I love being able to deliver, okay. That's one in a million. Honestly, these kind of seem like fake comments. I don't know. I haven't seen a batch on this new platform in five days, wow. 
these aren't even bad guys. I sometimes you, you guys can go through this yourself. Hello, I have an Instacart account. I was deactivated on Sunday, May 24th. I've been trying to communicate with you guys on the app and I've sent you emails and it says the email is no longer in use. I would like to account to be active again. Can you please let me know. Sending a warning to other women who use Instacart. The Instacart delivery person delivered to my home, then robbed equipment from my property after dropping off my groceries. Sheriff Department's contacted. Stop ignoring us, address the situation. I'm, I'm sure they're talking about the bots. There's a lot of people getting deactivated for either people saying that their food never... So here, I wanted to actually show you guys some um, comments in my most recent video on people getting uh, deactivated. Here we go. Let's, let's click at this one. Do you know what I just learned? No, I don't care. Um, this is my video. So before, so before this video gets started, let's look at the top comments here. Oh my God, get to the point. Wow, 102 likes on that one. Get to the point. I feel like you're charging me for my time because time equates money. Oh, I feel like charging you for my time. You need to stop stalling and get to the point. It starts with, wow, you guys think I stall a lot. Do you guys think I stall a lot? Um... Constructive criticism. Pick a lane. Do you want to try and get laughs or do you want a platform to be informative? <laughs> the video wasted too much time getting to the point. I watch info videos to get to the info quickly. I'm not saying you can't keep in light, but get to the point facts. Use my code and link for get upside guys. 25 cents off per gallon of gas. I get my account deactivated. What happened? I get to just get to customer and send a send me a wrong address. Then I contact with her. She let me send you address personally, and she would send me a couple address. I went to that location, that street. After I call her, and she abused me. I said, "Wow!" After they deactivated my account, so what? Can I, oh my god! I can't even finish that sentence, bro. That's a long sentence. Miranda, I actually like your format. Don't listen to haters. Thank you for this info. Oh, awesome. And deliver gallons of water uphill at one item with tip reversed. Uh, these comments are pretty funny, actually. Can't tell if background is real or fake. Yeah, that was a nice house I was living in for like two months. I was just renting a house during quarantine. It was my quarantine house. Um, Instacart has been stealing from the shoppers for years, lowering the pay below minimum wage and zero peak benefits. Literally get $7 for a 50 item order. Dude, get to the point. Um, no lie, got hired the same day and got deactivated the same day, but reactivated today. So we got deactivated, hired, deactivated, then reactivated. Uh, what did you get deactivated and what for? They said I wasn't delivering the food. Completed the first order and then, and then did the second completed one and that one that got shut off the account. I think it was back a glitch because I did nothing wrong. Back to money, stay safe. How long were deactivated? My account got screwed up because I asked to add another zone. The chat agent reset my account and now I can't shop. Any suggestions? I was a five star shopper. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys you guys get the point. Basically, customer service at Instacart. I mean, this is the risk you're willing to take. If you sign up to be an Instacart shopper, you get deactivated at any time. Let, let's let's look at some of the comments on this other video that I made really quick. Um, let's see here. Someone goes, this was a great video. You covered a lot of topics that other videos haven't. I heard the deactivation of uninstalling and reinstalling has to do with nefarious third parties who sell batches. Oh, here we go, Jose Pineda. Pineda, I just got deactivated today. They said I did not deliver an order, even though I did and took a picture of the groceries as requested. I even texted the customer saying their groceries are at the front door. Ridiculous, this is my second day on the job. I just started really enjoying the app. Guys, he even took a picture of the food. I mean, you guys see what, I, you guys see a, a trend, right? This is why you, you don't want, you wanna have a backup plan to your backup plan. If Instacart's your backup plan, sign up for Uber and Lyft, just in case you get deactivated. You can take pictures of that Instacart shopper. The last Instacarts I got delivered, they took a picture and sent it to me when they dropped it off. That's all, you know, that's all gravy and beans, but... Is that even a phrase? Gravy and beans? But look at this one. I mean, Jose, right above her, even, got deactivated. Ashley, also, I got deactivated. Did you get reactivated? If so, what did you do? 
story after story. I got to deactivate it and, it and it was a thorough review. I have a five star and I send a picture and verbally speak to customers. People who still get caught, Instacart deactivating, won't even look at my evidence. I have to prove, they won't even look at her picture that she has, this is crazy. Actually, I got deactivated today because my customer was too lazy to look at their front door. If they don't reinstate me, then screw this company. I took all my money I made with no warning. I was a shopper before they deactivate me for a false accusation that I didn't do in my whole life. So I see this question. If you're smart enough, I was working for them seven days a week. Okay, that's too long. No comment. You got deactivated from uninstalling and reinstalling. I mean, these are like not even like the. It's most of these stories are like the shopper did do nothing wrong. Like I understand if it was a background check issue, you got in a fight, you got a criminal charge. Sure, boom, deactivated. They don't want you delivering groceries to people's homes. I get it, but these cases where people actually have photos of the orders being delivered and Instacart just doesn't even respond. That's the big problem, guys. I mean, look at this guy. He got deactivated. Change phone number, email, and driver license, but I didn't yet. Oh my gosh, yeah, you don't want to do that. But anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Use the link down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.